Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today's video is another makeup tutorial. I just wanted to do something really classic and glam today. It's just a really easy brown smoky eye with a little bit of shimmer and of course a red lip. I feel like a red lip always makes any kind of look look really glam. Um, and I've been doing a lot of glitter and dramatic kind of looks for you guys lately. So I just kind of wanted to tone it down a little bit and do something that was a little bit more easily achievable for those of you on like a more everyday sort of basis so yeah i really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial if you do please give it a big thumbs up and if you want to see how i achieve this look then just keep watching so i thought i would do a talk through makeup tutorial today because it's not something that i usually do i usually just do voiceovers because as you guys can probably hear this microphone picks up so much noise it is the absolute worst and my fridge is making freaking noise at the moment what i'm going to use first is the tarte brighter days moisturizer it just has like illuminating little particles in it um and i just honestly think it is so beautiful and you guys can see it just like makes my skin look alive because my skin is really dehydrated if you guys don't know i have combination skin it's dehydrated and it's sensitive so this is a freaking party over here. And then going in with my Too Faced Hangover Primer. I've been obsessed with this lately. This is one of my favorite primers because it's just so hydrating. And like I said, my skin's dehydrated. So I need like all the moisture I can get. Even though I have combo skin, I need to make sure that I'm keeping it nice and moist. And then just going to give my face a quick spritz with the MAC Prep and Plant Prime. <laughs> Prime Fix Plus. This is the lavender scented one. Um, I just want to use this because I like putting sprays in my face basically and I just want a ton of moisture in my skin today. And then just going to go in with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Oh my god, I don't know if I ever mentioned this on my channel. I picked it up. This is like a year old so it's probably like out of date by now but I hated it when I got it. I absolutely hated it and I just have not touched it that's why it's just been sitting in there because i just could not make it work for me for the life of me so i thought i would try it out again today i am going to keep in mind that it's probably out of date so i might hate it even more it might make my skin break out now that i have like smeared that on my face like the peanut butter kid i'm going to spray my beauty blender with some fix plus just so it's nice and damp and then i'm just going to bounce the foundation into my skin I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of liking how this foundation's looking on my skin. It looks pretty good on my skin. <laughs> this might seem really strange, but I'm actually going to use a setting spray on my face. I'm using the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. I feel like it helps to stop my face from getting so cakey, because you guys know I'm a little cake face. So I'm actually going to cream contour today. I say that as if it's like a big surprise, a cream contour every day i'm going to use my iconic london cream contouring palette i'm obsessed with this you guys would have seen it in tons of my videos there's a lot of background noise at the moment because hamish just got home from work so he's in the shower and making food and all that sort of stuff so bear with this part of the video i'm going to take the middle shade on my sigma cut crease e62 brush and then i'm just going to go in with the beauty blender and blend everything out So now I'm just going to go in and conceal my dark circles and highlight a little bit. I like to do this with concealer rather than the highlighting shades in the palette just because I like concealers in little tubey applicators better. So I'm just going to use my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Neutral. I like to put it around my mouth just because I have like these little shadowy kind of dimples you guys will be able to see it in like my instagram videos and stuff but they drive me insane um so yeah i like to just add a little bit of like a lighter concealer to kind of hide the shadowing and i'm actually going to spray my beauty blender just to set my under eyes with a bit of the fixing makeup finishing spray just because i feel like it really holds it there and stops it from like fading throughout the day and kind of hides my dark circles a little bit more Then usually with whatever's left over of the concealer, I just kind of take it in like 
the high points of my face, just the areas that I want to highlight, but I don't necessarily want any more coverage there. And I'm going to go in and set my face. Of course, I'm using my Laura Mercier Secret, no, this is the translucent. I always go to call it the Secret Brightening Powder, but this is the translucent powder. And I'm only setting like the top half of my face. So I'm kind of leaving this bit because I'm going to go in and bake this area just so I can get that really chiseled line. So I'm going to leave this sitting here for like five minutes or how I actually it's going to be longer than five minutes. Going to be using the Modern Renaissance Palette from Anastasia. This is one of my favorite palettes, if not my favorite. I think I'm going to mix Burnt Orange and Raw Sienna and I'm just going to start blending those into the trees. trees? <laughs> into the crease as our transition shade. So the brush I'm using is my Sigma E40 brush. I have a discount code for you guys as well. It's just Casey Rayton and that will get you 10% off anything from Sigma that you want to pick up. Um, and all of my brushes that I use are from Sigma. So I'll leave them all listed down below for you guys. Just so you know that is an affiliate code. So I do make a very small commission from that. Um, which I truly, truly appreciate if you guys can support me and use that if you want to purchase anything. However, you definitely do not have to. Don't feel like I'm pressuring you. It's just, I honestly support it. Support it? <laughs> I appreciate it so much. So I'm going to start working on the lower lash line now. I'm just taking those two same shades we used in the crease, Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange, on my Sigma E57 brush. And I'm going to start packing them along the lower lash line. And then whatever's left over on the brush, I just lightly stamp it out you know, like a little line towards the outer V of the eye. I'm then going in with the E39 brush from Sigma and I'm going to just start blending out the color that we put on the lower lash line. So I'm just going to repeat those steps and continue building up that color. So now that we've kind of got all those shades down, I'm going to go in with the shade Rialga, which is the orangey brown shade from the palette. I am obsessed with this shade. One of my absolute favorites. Now I'm going to take it on my Sigma E25 blending brush. This is really dirty right now, but I've dusted it off so nothing's gonna mess with it. I need to go and wash my brushes like ASAP. I'm going to start packing that onto the outer corner. This is a flat sort of brush, so you can really pack on with it, but you can blend with it as well. And then with the tip of the brush, just slightly start blending that into the crease. And then we're gonna mesh all those colors together with that E40 brush that we've been blending with. So going in with that same Rialga shade, we're going to pack that onto the lower lash line and start connecting it in the outer corner of the eye. And to do that, I'm going to use my short shader E20 brush. We're going to try and put this a little bit more closely to the lower lash line. We don't wanna drag this down as far as the other colors because when we blend, they're gonna all mesh together anyway. And then I'm going back in with that same E38 just to lightly diffuse everything. So now I'm going to finish off our kind of base eyeshadows with the shade Cypress Umber, which is like a deep warm brown. I'm going to use my E45 brush to get this nice and precisely into the outer V. And then once I've kind of got that in like the little positioning that I want, I'm going to go in with the E38 to blend that out. And then for the lower lash line, I'm going to go back in with that E20 brush and just pick up a little bit of Cypress Umber and just get this really close to the lower lash line. I should probably go in with a different, like even smaller brush, but I'm lazy. Then for the lid, I'm going to do a slight cut crease because I want my lid color to stand out, but I don't want it to be like a full on cut. Instead of like giving it a really cut line, I'm going to just like lightly diffuse it. That way we still get that cut crease effect, but it's more of a diffused line. So when we go in with the eyeshadow, it's going to look a little bit more blended rather than like really cut. Then for the actual lid shade, we're going to use the color Primavera, which is just a really beautiful champagne gold sort of shade. And I'm going to pack that onto the lid with the E55 eye shading brush from Sigma. I'm also going to pop that same Primavera shade on my inner corner. So I'm not doing any winged liner today for once in my life, but I'm going to do a very thin, I was going to say wing. I'm not doing a wing. Very thin line using my Kat Von D tattoo liner. I'm trying to find a mirror. This one's my favorite because it has a little brush tip rather than a like felt tip kind of thing. So it's really easy to apply. And I'm just going to do a really, really thin line across my lash line. So that way when I go in with the lashes, they'll just blend a little bit better. I just used the Farrah lashes from Huda Beauty. These are one of my favorites. I think they're really beautiful even without um, any eyeliner. They still look really, really nice. So I'm actually gonna go in and dust away this bake now because it's been, it's 
can sit on my face for like half an hour. So to contour and bronze, I'm actually going to use these two from this little Zoeva contour spectrum powder palette. I haven't, I think I've used this like once before. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would get it out and try it again in this video. I'm going to use this bottom shade here to contour and then I'm going to use the top one to bronze. So for the contour shade, I'm going to use my small contour F05 brush. You guys would have seen this in tons of my videos. It's one of my favorite brushes. And then I'm going to take a little bit on my five head as well. Got a big ass five head. And then I'm going to go in with the bronze shade. I'm just gonna use that same F10 brush and I'm going to apply this just above where I contoured. Get a bit of a light bronze on my body. So now to highlight my face. You guys know I love highlighting. It's one of my favorite parts. I'm going to take my Anastasia um, Nicole Guerrero. I was gonna say contour kit. Highlighting glow, glow kit. Um, I'm going to use the shade Glow Getter. I'm going to apply that with my Sigma Powder Sweep F06 brush. One of my, it's so dirty right now. It's one of my favorites for highlighting. And I'm literally going to just like dunk it right up in there. Get tons on there. And then going to blend my highlight and contour and kind of mesh them all into one using a blush. I'm going to use my favorite, which is Warm Soul from MAC. And I'm taking that on my Sigma F. 40 brush. This is like one of my favorite blush brushes. Oh, I put a little bit too much blush right there. So now my face is done. I'm going to spritz my skin with my Fix Plus again. And then I'm going to go in with my makeup setting spray. So just the Scandinavia setting spray again. Just because the Fix Plus kind of helps lay everything down and then setting spray is actually going to lock everything in. So because I'm using a liquid lipstick today, I'm going to go in with some of this Makeup Forever Ultra HD Lip Booster. I've used this in one of my videos before. It's just like, I've got the shade number one. Um, it's just like a lip serum. So it kind of just makes my lips really moisturized. And I like to wear it on like an everyday basis. Then for my lips, I'm going to use one of the little Valentine's Day minis from Kylie Cosmetics. This is the shade Mary Jo K. So you guys can pick this up, like not in that set. I just got mine in the set because I'm such a sucker for minis. So this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I just wanted to do something really simple for you guys today, but something that's really glam at the same time. And I feel like a red lip always makes everything super glam. So if you did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video.